Hi, my beautiful yogi friends. Welcome. Today, our practice is for a deep, 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 deep release in the body to enhance our flexibility, let go of old patterning, and make some room for new energy. It's a yin yoga flow. You are welcome to use lots of props. I'm using about three to four blocks today use whatever you need to okay let's let's start to move that energy bring the soles of your feet together and splay your knees across the room into your butterfly pose that's a yin yoga pose and you might know it as baddha kunasana or cobbler pose but in our yin practice it's really important that we just let go okay so release release you can when you first move into the posture you can engage a little bit and then once you get there, really, really start to cultivate letting go. So while you're in this pose, just think about allowing, about cultivating, being present with whatever surfaces. So you might feel some agitation that's completely normal. You might feel some edges that you can stay with if it becomes painful or too intense then definitely modify. But in our yin practice, we are cultivating, finding some sensation. You want to find a sensation and energy is going to begin to flow. So just arrive here now in your first pose. Be present, be here, and maybe set an intention for your practice. friends let's slowly make our way up we are going to push forward into our feet and come and hang over our legs and dangle here shake out your head maybe open your jaw maybe flubber your lips okay and just hang over your body a nice bend in the knees is welcome here I invite you to play with what feels good in your body Oh, 
Okay, friends, for the next part, I'm going to turn towards the long side of my mat, still dangling here. And then take your right arm up and around your back and your left arm through your legs. Now, I am moving into a full bind today. You don't have to do that. You can come into just a half bind. Just play with what feels good. You want to cultivate a nice deep opening through that right shoulder and get some rotation in the neck as well. So releasing any tightness, stuck energy in the neck, in the cervical spine. Let everything hang. This is such a wonderful pose for the blood flow in the body. Also opening up the heart and the lung energy lines. Now we are going to transition in this pose. So you are welcome to keep your bind if you are bound or just keep your arm in half bind, whatever feels right. You're just gonna bend those legs and come down into a squat. Now stretch the right arm up into the sky or maybe find a half bind here. So I'm gonna walk you through this one more time from this angle. So come into your squat release your bind and then take the left arm around and reach the right arm up into the sky or some variation of that today let's really be playful with our practice today try to experiment with what feels good here if the squat is a little too challenging today then maybe take your feet a little wider maybe sit up on a prop or maybe pad your heels up on the edge of your mat and roll up a mat or a blanket under your heels. So experiment with what feels good in your body. You want to feel a nice delicious edge. You want to feel that shift in energy, but you don't want it to be too intense. You want to be able to stay here for a little bit, okay? Go ahead and release that twist and just melt forward. Hang here, let your neck go, let your upper body go, just drape your body forward. Let's lift the hips back up into the sky. If you need to rock gently from side to side, please do that. And when you are ready, you're going to take that left arm up and around to your right hip and go ahead and thread the right arm through your legs. So whether you're bound or not, or maybe you're just dangling, just peel your left shoulder back, gaze over to the left side. So you're getting a nice twist through that cervical spine, releasing those patterns and introducing that mobility back into the cervical thoracic spine and also all the way down into your lumbar spine, into the hips. Maybe, maybe let out a gentle sigh and remember when you're changing patterns, when you're moving energy, lots of times motions surface and things get a little edgy, just be okay with that. That's part of the process. Here 
we go, friends. We are slowly bending those legs and release the right arm. Take it in front of your right leg and then reach it back. Open your heart up and gaze like a sundial. Turn and reach your left heart up into the sky. So peel that left lung open and the left side of your heart upward. Soften your face. Connect into your breath. Breathe into that left lung. Fill it up and let it go. Okay, friends, let's simply reach the arms forward and collapse through your legs. Hang here. And gently rock back, have a seat. Okay, I'm going to show you two variations for our next asana. You're going to take your hands and flip them so that the palms are face outward and we're gonna get some nice wrist decompression. And then all you have to do is bring your feet into the floor. You can either sit crisscross applesauce or you can bring those legs up. So you're getting some nice opening on the outside of the shoulders and the back side of the body, or you're gonna come on up into another squat. And if you feel inclined to, you're gonna take those hands again, flip them so your fingertips face back and your palms face outward, and then take the elbows to the inside of your legs. And this is just delicious. If you do lots of work at a computer, or maybe you're a pianist, or any type of um, musician, you know that those forearms get tight for those rowers and so many different professions so take some time and love for those arms right now Okay, friends, take a gentle breath and just slowly make your way back into plop asana. So you're plopping back into the earth. Rinse out those wrists. And when you're ready, we're gonna come into a half dragonfly. So extend your right leg out in front of you and fold that left leg in. And I'm not using any props right now, but you are welcome to nestle a pillow or some blocks right underneath your chest on top of your thigh and just completely melt here melt into the earth let gravity do its work and once you get into your pose think about allowing and just being here
Okay, my beautiful friends, slowly make your way back up and let's change sides. So we're going to extend the left leg out, fold the right leg in and begin to fold over that leg. No expectations here, this side of the body may be completely different. Respect that and honor it. Connect to your breath. Let's slowly push our way back up to sit and press your feet into the floor. Take a moment to windshield wipe your legs across the room. Just feel the benefits of that delicious pose and then move forward onto your hands and knees. We're moving into saddle pose, okay? So spreading the feet away from the hips and it's nice to sit up on a block here or maybe sit on a pillow. Spend a little bit of time here seated. If you are comfortable reclining, then please go ahead and begin to recline. But I invite you to just stay up for a little bit. Notice how your legs feel and when you are ready, then you can begin to recline using either a pillow or a bolster, uh, or maybe you're just going to lie flat on the ground into the earth.
Now, if you do recline back and you reach your arms over your head, you are getting some deeper sensation and energy moving through the heart and lung energy lines. And you can play and see how that feels. If you want to ground yourself more, then maybe keep your arms down by your side or or maybe on your, your heart or your belly. Okay, wow, that was beautiful, lovely friends. Let's slowly come up, maybe support your head if you need to, and maybe roll over to one side. Make your way back up to sit, and let's just take a moment to bring the soles of the feet together, and we're going to make our way back into another heart opener if you were reclining earlier so we're coming into a reclining butterfly or you might know it as a fish pose or a fish pose variation I'm using three blocks here today and it's helping me get a nice back bend so play with what feels good remember you you want to work outside your comfort zone you want to feel some edge, and, but at the same time, you want to you want to shift things around in your practice. This is your time to play with your body, investigate new possibilities. Let those possibilities guide you. Connect into that energy, that new energy.
Okay, let's make our way slowly off of the props onto one side. And then we are going to just take a moment on your backside to windshield wipe your legs. Keep your props accessible though, okay? And then we're going to take the blocks underneath the hips again. Okay, so I am going to cross my legs and you can come into eagle legs, Garuda, or you can just come into a twist, but your left butt cheek, the outside of it is on top of the prop. And then twist your heart open, maybe reach your arm. Okay, friends, we're gonna change sides. So press your feet into the earth and let's take the right hip or the right butt cheek. I refer to it as the outside of the butt cheek, but it's, it's the hip. You're gonna take it on top of the block. It's someplace in between those two points and then reach your heart open. So twist over to the left side. Again, you can cross your legs or come into a bind with your legs whatever feels feels right today and breathe it in and maybe soften again inhale connect to your breath and stretch out that exhalation
release the legs, remove your blocks, and we are gonna make our way back up to sit. So come on over to one side or rock up to sit. And let's take some blocks behind us. I really love this next pose. So you can use a pillow or I'm using three blocks and you're gonna take your hands behind you. You can press your palms together. That's a little intense. And then you're gonna lie back or you can just flip one palm on top of the other, grab opposite hand to opposite elbow, and then you're going to make your way back and lie back and get a nice, delicious opening through the upper body. If the sensation is too intense, I invite you to play with pillows and bolsters, and that's going to take away some of that sensation. Now we are going to release this, so press your feet into the earth and slowly shift your weight from side to side. Take those hands out, remove your props, and let's come onto our backside. We're gonna come into a, a, a big, big bridge right now. I call it the GW Bridge, but you might refer to it as the Golden Gate or whatever bridge of choice. So some variations, you are welcome to take this higher if you've been doing your backbend practice and you have that mobility and the flexibility already introduced, or you can take it lower and use maybe a pillow or one block. And you're also welcome to just play with one leg at a time. So maybe bend one leg and straighten it the other and then switch.
Slowly press your feet into the earth and tuck the tail, removing those blocks one at a time. Put them to the side and lower the hips into the earth. Take your time as you windshield wipe the legs across the room from side to side. Now for our next pose, we're moving into snail pose. So you are going to lift your hips up and over and I'm going to use a block here for some feedback. I'm placing it right underneath my lower back like a little kickstand, okay? Now, if you want to move into snail but you don't have that mobility and flexibility just yet, then maybe use a pillow and lift your hips up and just let your legs lift towards your head to whatever degree. You're welcome to lengthen through the legs, maybe even flex the feet or bend the legs. And also I invite you to play with opening the legs wider or maybe a little more narrow and bring them towards each other, towards the center line of the body. Gentle pressure on the cervical spine Again, I usually explain that there's a couple of different variations here. You can lift your chin up and keep that natural curve in your cervical spine, or you can decompress the cervical spine by keeping the chin slightly inward. We're only staying here for a little bit today, so enjoy this pose. Okay, that was amazing. Let's slowly remove any props that you have from underneath your lower back and then gently lower the hips down into the earth. Pause here again, taking the bent knees from side to side, maybe a yawn, whatever you might need. And then we're going to open the heart. So as we start to move into the final stages of our practice, I invite you to open your heart up again, bring the soles of your feet together, or maybe straighten the legs. So really lift the heart, feel that beautiful heart energy, let it shine, maybe reach the arms over your head. Inhale, connect into that heart chakra. Let out a nice sigh. <sighs> Maybe flubber your lips. Maybe stick out your tongue and come into a lion. And connect into that new field of energy that you just created. Feel the frequency, the shifting of how your body is now how your body is functioning, how you are functioning in this new, new environment, this beautiful place that you created.
Okay, my uh, beautiful, amazing friends, if you are still with me, gently roll over to one side. Move your props away and uh, give yourself final relaxation. So this pose is probably the most important. Really let those poses start to melt and almost cement into the body, into the nervous system. So straighten out the legs, reach your arms down by your side, and just soften here. Thank yourself, thank yourself. Send out gratitude for your practice, for your body. Open your heart. If you have the time today, I invite you to stay on your back a little bit longer. Otherwise, make your way over to the side into a little ball. Pause here for a moment. And then let's come on up to a seated pose. Just take a moment to connect in with your intention, whatever it might be. Bring your hands to your heart. Om Shanti, 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 Namaste. Namaste, friends. Thank you so much for shining your beautiful light with me today on the mat. Namaste. Hey, friends. If you are interested in doing 30 days of yin with me, I have two calendars and I will put those links below. Check them out.